What's up everyone? There is no PC behind me because we're currently building one in the NZXT Manta. This is an ITX case. It is fairly large, but it's perfect for a custom loop. This marks my first ITX custom loop PC build ever, but I've pretty much got the whole PETG2 bending thing down. It's, you know, it's actually fairly simple at this point, uh, but the bends are going to be a bit more intricate because the case is significantly reduced, especially from something like my first case, which was the PC-011 from Lee and Lee. So with that, I present to you a bunch of tech porn. All right, this is where I'm going to call it quits for part one. I do expect I will have the build finished in part two, so don't worry, this won't be a dragged out series. Uh, but I had a couple of issues that I ran into. Obviously, this is like, you know, redundant by this point with uh, custom loop builds, but uh, this bend here was fairly easy, and I do think that it is like the, I don't know, I think it's super cool looking because it's so simple, but it spans across the entire case, so. I actually really like that bend. Now this bend, I had to simplify. It was originally coming from this port here on the reservoir up to, let me see if I can get the camera angled right, this uh, rear port on the 240 mil rad up top. Now that was very technically difficult. It took about three or four tries. I was just re-bending the same, uh, you know, stand up PETG pipe and it just wasn't working. So I decided to just make a simple kind of S-bend here up to the front to 40. Uh, now the reservoir is also kind of cracking. I'm gonna try to rotate that. This is just acrylic, it's not strong. So that's why it did that. Um, and then I do expect in part two to have an issue here. This is the 120 mil in the back. It's gonna have to run into one of these two ports here in the CPU because the only other port left in the loop is up top. This is gonna be my drain and fill valve here. So I, I don't know, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tough, but we'll tackle that in part two. My 
My thoughts on the Manta, I love it. It's a beautiful case. It's very large. It's not, you know, the typical ITX uh, small form factor case, but it is the perfect case for a custom loop like this. I have it linked in the video description along with all the other parts here. I will catch you in part two. This is Salazar Studio. Thanks for building with us.